Okay, so uh, today is September 7th, and this is a uh, NVIDIA Play. Uh, I think this one shows Meta. Yep. Yeah, so I was looking at Meta and NVIDIA. Uh, apologies, I could not do uh, commentary while I was trading uh, due to the fact that I was also working at the same time. Uh, but the two stocks I was looking at is Meta and Nvidia. Uh, Meta, I was, uh, I became red on the day. Nvidia, I'm green on the day. So uh, I'll go through some things we see here. So Meta, I think I was looking, for, uh, waiting for uh, a rejection. And uh, let's see, I was waiting for it to pop and then drop from uh, probably around this level 159 uh, it also does depend on what I was looking at with such a, uh, with things such as a uh, Apple Tesla Google Amazon uh, Microsoft and the indices and futures looks like I went with Nvidia long uh, this was a chase kept it small uh, I think I I got it as a red still anyway uh, Yep, so there it comes down. I decided to uh, cut my loss, wait for confirmation, and uh, took the shorts right there off of VWAP. Uh, now, the reason why I stayed in there, and I think I averaged up, was because if you look over here, this has a big wick, and it's going to come down. It's been rejected. It's rejecting the 137 ish. You can see uh, down here it's having a hard time getting above too. This is 30 minutes down here and this is 5 minutes. So you can see that it's trying slowly filling in. And then uh, over time I think uh, what's going to happen is like it's going to turn red and I kept uh, my shares from there or either scaled out. I uh, definitely was about to take the loss for the day here. So it looks like I scaled in uh, to a maximum of 150. Wait, broke even. Okay, so that's where I marked uh, hard stop. And then just giving it time, a little patience. Uh, also, all this is this is uh, two times fast. So right here, you can see I was getting ready to get out, but it went went right below my uh, hard stop, and then looks like it's just coming down. So here I was most likely either watching the one minute chart or two minute chart and uh, looking at L2. So it went out, uh, it, it went above my hard stop, so I exit. Uh, fortunately, I was too late. I was most likely waiting and watching to see so uh, if it will reject. So right here I'm watching uh, what it does. So I'm waiting to see. So this is technically two red on the day, two red trades on the day. But I have, looks like I still have confident to uh, pain. So I'm scalping, entering long. And I chased up there. Uh, looks like it rejected the 136.7. And I was eyeing to see where the hard stop would be. Uh, when you saw my mouse moving over. So I'm just getting ready to sell. Looks like it was watching L2. Alright, looks like I cut out uh, right when it... I'm actually going to rewind that a little bit. So I exit at so I exit around right here. So it looks like I identified uh, 0.7 or 0.75 as a hard stop, uh, mainly because um, of this wick right here. Where the previous, let's go back a little bit. You can see. You can see it jumps up and then comes back down. So it goes to the 139, comes back down. So I identified it at 8. And then notice how it came back down. 
and the stroke it's holding so I was looking at the L2s for sure and just deciding where I need to stop out on the on the long side so I was able to make back about 20 bucks from that and then right here uh, looks like I'm waiting to see what's going on before I jump in and I decided to take a short right here after seeing a confirmation on the reject and this five minutes a little uh, slow on well not slow but it looks like it needs time I think what happened here was I was looking at the the rest of the market and the rest of the market was trying to come down and here I covered uh, looks like I flipped too long yeah, so I flipped along for a scalp. Uh, not sure why I did that. That was actually a dumb move. But then I flipped back to short once I had a confirmation. I may have been uh, jumpy from the recent activities where uh, the, stop, uh, the tickers move at a really strange pattern. So right here I averaged up uh, since I'm short selling. So you can see I'm averaging up at the 137s or closest to it and uh, getting ready to cover just in case it squeezes me out. So it didn't squeeze me out and I noticed it went down. So it uh, looks like I kept on uh, averaging up. So it looks like I marked another stop right there. So that'll be my heart stop, the 136.9, and here comes the momentum to the downside. It's going to take a little time though, but I was getting ready to cover just in case. So uh, this whole time I was most likely watching uh, L2 as well. And I was watching, looking, watching, making sure like the moves and the bids and ask see what they were doing, where's the wall, and I was looking at the tape and you can see there's a lot of selling. Even though this is showing it's a popping up a little bit, look at um, how much red there are. So what that tells me is stay, and I uh, was aiming for, looks like a hard stop right there, just to be safe. Uh, take a look at VIX, oh, because uh, VIX was down very low. Tesla was ripping, Apple was ripping, so I got out, out of a uh, caution instead of uh, technical. So I think right here, around here, this is where I started trying to add back in. Yep, I did. Small size, confirm confirmation, and I just uh, went, uh, went crazy on the, on the scaling end. So 200 was my maximum for that time, and then just watching to go. So it failed, so let's rewind out a little bit. So confirmation. Oops. So the confirmation was around right here. If it, So I added in small confirmation right under this red, so this red two minute red candle was under this candle confirmation coming down even more confirmation once I see it dropped under uh, VWAP and it just went straight through this uh, previous line that I had for a hard stop and I believe you can see on this side you see in the momentum on the red uh, sorry on the five minutes how much of a momentum it was to coming down and what this also tells you it's a reversal pattern so you have one green, one red of the same size up and come right back down. However, this one also shows, uh, as you can see, it's coming down pretty hard. And over here, this is such a big wick off of 136.5. That was a big rejection. Uh, looks like I held, uh, may have scaled out at, at some point over here. So still watching, watching it break down the 135s. Right, so I was watching the L2, watching how all the price action, action moves. Uh, looks like I'm ready, getting ready to scale out right here. And it didn't, uh, looks like I didn't. Yeah, I was getting ready to take full out if it 
goes above this line right here. So this is a support line right here on the intraday. And notice how everything else is like coming down. So quick stop right here. You have a downward momentum candle for the two minute, downward momentum candle for the five minutes. And look how big this um, wick is and this big red candle on the 30 minute. So that was my conviction to stay. Uh, I believe later on this actually pops up and I exit, but I re re jump back right, uh, jump right back in. Um, and most of the time, uh, I was actually also looking at the L2, seeing how they move. So you would see uh, it would pop up a little, like 10 cents, then come right back down. Same thing down here, it would pop up 10 cents, and then comes right back down. And sometimes you'll see like it goes like a 10 cents right here, but this one just doesn't do much. And and it looks like it's gonna go green on the on the uh, candle or it pops on the candle. But then I look right here on the tape and watch for the reds and greens. So the more reds, the more I see the selling, and the more I will stay. Now this is not what think for some. Unfortunately, this is not the the best right here, but it's enough for me to uh, tell when there's actually momentum. Uh, so let's continue. Looks like I already took a small profit. Yep, so I took another profit right there to lock in because I'm already, I'm, I'm back on the green on the day. Now I'm here waiting for confirmation, seeing if this will come up. So if it will pop up past this, uh, this white line, I will do, looks like a full exit. And it rejected, but it's popping. You can see it's popping. And right here, I'm getting ready to uh, exit. Watching, I think I gave it a little extra room though. Nope, I, I sold. I sold in case it actually pops, because let me go. We go here, so you can see this actually became a new, new uh, bullish candle. Big wake bottom, big support at 135. It comes back up, so I took, uh, took it out, and didn't want to stay. So let's move on. And I noticed the reject, so there's some. A little bit more momentum. Uh, this is more of a breakdown pro, uh, play. So I've been just averaging up a little bit and uh, notice how it's constantly rejecting these lines. So like this line right here, the 135. So at every pop I was um, taking it, taking uh, or adding in. And I set a limit there. It looks like just to let it do sing so I don't have to do it manually and it was just more of like a precaution side see where it goes where my limits are if it goes but above this line looks like I will exit looking at a tape In a few minutes, uh, we can see more momentum, and I've been just adding in right here. I was just um, adding more as much as I can. Uh, well, as much as I can to uh, my total, my max right there. And you can see over here, here there is a confirmation rejection. Once it came uh, 650 on uh, this time new candle form and more mo mo more momentum coming down and now it's retesting 135s so it's bouncing 135s getting ready to jump out just in case and I believe I was watching L2 unfortunately this is uh, two times speed so I'm not going to cover too much on the L2 and uh, tape read all the tape reading, but you can see it uh, cracked 135. 
So now I'm trying to identify uh, a new support level. So identify it around uh, 134.3. So that will be a signal for me to either exit or um, start scaling out. And you can see it's dropping, but it's also bouncing that support level. So that support level is uh, previous day lows. And uh, after market and uh, previous market or uh, pre-market support, but it cracked. So now I'm looking for a new support and identified it down here at 132. So it bounced above the 134 level, and I think I started scaling out and I'm trying to identify uh, where to get out from here. So all these white lines, they are my hard stop, and uh, if they're they're not technically a hard stop literally, if the if the candle is hovering above a little bit and rejects to go back under, I will stay. Otherwise, if it shows too much of a bullish pattern, I will get out. So like right here, I would try and get ready to get out just in case. And I think right here, it actually does pop, I'll pop over. So I just did a full exit. So I kept missing, I kept missing my scaling out here. Uh, especially like since I got to type in type in the amounts. Yep. So I scale. I just jumped out right there. Once you saw it go up, it did reject, but it's too bullish. And looks like I re-added a uh, small size because I believe it was a false breakout. So we'll see from here. And I believe I added it to the top. That's for every pop I did there, I just added. And for it looks like for this one, I actually was getting ready to get out. So it popped and looks like I already exited. And then I may have entered here or near here to scale back in. Uh, once I saw confirmation. So seeing confirmation on, on the downside, I added uh, this time uh, scale did a hundred for a starter and slowly scale in at each pop or each bounce and seeing how this is struggling to to stay green and notice how the bottom wig is smaller than the top wig and it's under the white white line which is the hard stop for the bull side and there it goes I believe that during this time too, the market was starting to tank. Well, tank more. Uh, I around here, I wanted to get out, uh, at least uh, to identify and verify as I where I want to get out. But everything just kept on coming down. Uh, some of these uh, down moves were very unexpected. And around here, I think I struggle to uh, to stay because I wasn't sure where it's gonna go and what's gonna happen yeah so it popped up pretty pretty high unfortunately if you saw I couldn't get that 300 uh, profit because of how much of a, a bounce it did and you can see I'm just getting ready to get out just in case 
So I may have identified around the red uh, line right here. So watching what it does. Mm, looks like it's actually 35. I'm oh, sorry, 134.5 maybe. But here, here's a little tricky. It's bouncing back and forth. And I chose to stay because it kept rejecting the the white line. And I may have uh, exit or get re uh, get ready to exit pretty soon. This whole time I did fear this becoming a more bullish candle though. So it looks like instead I added on, added on to the short to average up. And it's going to be a little bit of time. So stayed and held pain on that and identified up here a higher level above this to be the re to be the rejection line now why did that uh, not too sure to be honest uh, it's kind of hard to remember what was done previously but most likely is uh, this line right here being the resistance and these being support so closer to 135 was my exit point looks like Like I was getting ready to cover, uh, to cover the, the the shares that I entered earlier uh, to de-risk myself. So from here, so based on this, I believe this was a pop, and then it dropped. Uh, why I held on, I believe it was uh, due to the rest of the market. There was one point where NVIDIA was going up while the rest of the market was coming down. So what that means is NVIDIA was trying to stop people out and then come back down with the rest of the market. So right here I was giving some time watching for it to bounce or reject. I definitely did not like uh, the five minute side where it's it bounced at this level but you see it's rejecting and this market uh, I don't trust the wicks as much however in a, a market that follows through I would probably exit and took a stop right there and just that's it but for this one, I held on, took a little bit more risk and wider stops, really. So wider stops, more patience. And I was scaling out here. Because you can see the drop. And then the bounce, and then let's see what happens next. So I took a profit right there just in case. Uh, as long as the lower than my lowest, I was trying to take profit uh, if I could. Otherwise, it'll be a hard stop. And right here, watching for rejection. It is rejecting 0.5s. It did a pop. And then slowly coming back down. So right here, I think I was watching the L2 where it did go up but then there was a bunch of selling earlier and there's the selling and 
and slow it's slowly coming down Did, definitely did not like uh, the 134 pops though when I was watching this. And it comes right down. A little rewind on the L2. So if you watch the L2, notice how quickly it, it dropped. So on the bid and ask, you pretty much pick one. So how it, j it goes up to like close to 30s and then just drops right down to the tens and uh, zeros so 30s and staying there and start now is when it's coming down so 10 and so went to 20s down to tens a little bit jump up a little bit rejects its 20s and then Coming down, trying to bounce the tens, but look how how uh, much it's starting to come down. It did go above twenties, but then it keeps rejecting the twenties. You can see how much selling. Look how quick that just went. Even I missed it. I just missed it on this video, but you can see how quick that went. And then the momentum to the downside. So around here, I think I end up just taking profit anyway, or at least scaling out uh, a little bit more. Yep, so I scaling out there. Try and scale it just a little small, thinking there will be more momentum. However, what I did not realize, it was already forming a new support. So it was forming a new support right here, but I was just slowly scaling down. And next candle, we'll see a reversal. So on the reversal, on this part right here, I kept missing uh, my exit points. Uh, I do, don't remember if it was because it was too fast or was because I uh, was looking away which like I mentioned earlier that I was working at the same time. So it's drop down. Got okay, so I changed my scale out to five instead of ten, which originally wanted to use to take profit. And I did not take profit here. I think I was waiting for more downside. And okay, so I did take t uh, take some out. Uh, I was aiming for every ten cents below for a, a, a f additional five five shares profit. And right here, this is where uh, it started popping. I think I, I think this is where I was looking away. Nope, I set a new level. I think this part I actually was more stubborn on waiting for it to do move. Yeah, so here I was a little more stubborn, overstaying a little bit. I did give a wider risk. So watching for a reject at the 134.3 support line. That's now possibly a rejection line. Notice how it's hovering over it. And in the LT, you can see it's like going 30s to 20s, the 30s, and now it's at 40. So I think right here is where I took out. Yep, I took, I took it out right here. Now I see a reject. And on the next candle, I think I waited for confirmation before it came down, <coughs> before I ad added on. So Meta was bouncing, Amazon was bouncing, and then right here, I did add it back in, uh, added at each top, I think, for uh, this reject right here. Uh, 
now seeing it coming down and it rejected this line again so look how how much it's struggling to stay above I was still get, getting ready to get out just in case though and right here uh, you can see how there's such there's two big wicks uh, right or three big wicks right here right above the support and as you as I mentioned that it's coming right down so conviction to stay there it did held this bottom level right here though <coughs> yep so I you saw my mouse move right there uh, watching for a crack if it doesn't crack I will get out and it bounce and it went above the line the white line Gave it a little room, saw a little small reject. Watching the tape. And it did not hold, well, well it rejected. So from 90s to 70s to 60s. But it came back up to 70s, 80s. And turn turn green and notice how the big the pop was so let's go back a little bit so 70s 80s 90s and then straight up so I got out right around there uh, just so I can get out of the way in case it becomes bullish and what you did so moving forward let's go back a little bit Okay, so here uh, looks like I stopped the video, and then around here when I started the video again, uh, this was starting to come down. This was a more of a chase, uh, confirmation of a rejection off of this white line that become became a resistance. Uh, original aim was at the VWAP, but I was waiting for this confirmation. So you notice that a VWAP uh, reject and then a red candle. I was also late to the game. And I think I put a, uh, quite a bit of size on this one. Uh, scaled up, or sorry, uh, yeah, scaled up at each pop. Definitely was a little unsure because uh, it kept coming up above this line right here. But once I saw confirmation, most likely from here and around in the market, uh, which is on my side charts that I look at, the, the uh, market leaders and futures and uh, indices, like SPIES and QQQ, I uh, believe they were coming down this time, so I held on. And there it goes. So watching Apple, so it was Apple that I was looking at that was trying to crack that uh, that level. And once it cracked, it Nvidia uh, will come down since it's part of the tech. Apple is also most weighted. So once it cracks that 154, the whole market will come down with it. And that's why I stayed and held through that small pain. I believe I also did watch the L2 and tapes uh, to see what it does. So it bounce. So right here it shows a bounce, but over here it shows a reject. And this is a two minute. This is a five minute. You can see it rejects and slowly coming down, so this is going to fill instead, or at least it may fill. So there we go. It cracked 
Apple cracked the 154. So now I'm watching for the 150, or sorry, 134 on NVIDIA. And while doing that, kind of got annoyed of uh, the different days that are set, so I don't have to zoom in too much. There it goes down, 134. Uh, I believe I start waiting uh, to see what happens. It cons uh, looks like it consolidated on a yeah, consolidate and then I just scaled out. So here is where I was having a hard time taking or getting ready to take profit because it kept on bouncing and what's going on? So Apple bounced. This so one's showing is coming down. I think because of the five minutes, I had a little more conviction to stay. Uh, but according to my charts on the side, uh, I took a screenshot of all this too. Uh, once it's all done, it bounced on me and I just scaled out. So looks like I gave it time and yeah, so I gave it time, held the pain. This definitely was a tricky market for sure. Okay, I did scale out fifty, about fifty, right around here. Held here, scaled out again. So pretty much around at every time it get clo got close to one thirty four, I try to get out, get some out, and just not all out. So I don't. Um, so in case it it does fall more, because right here it looks like it could fall more, but it didn't. It bounced on me. So here I was trying to take small profits again. Took another small profit there, seeing how there was a rejection. But uh, once again, this did bounce on me. Uh, I believe the last 100 shares, I gave it more uh, room to go above this uh, line for a possible head and shoulders, actually. It's, it's weak and small. So you got shoulder one, got the head, possible shoulder if I gave it a little room. But uh, I stopped out around the point fours. You can see I gave a little room, see where it goes, watching L2, 40s, way above 40s, so I just exit and you see it popped on me. Uh, so that's the NVIDIA trade I did for uh, September 7th, 2022. And um, some lessons I learned from this is uh, from today. Uh, so there was an Apple event uh, around 10 a.m. PST uh, and I struggled on that one I started to break my rules I actually gave back uh, a lot of profit so 
at the end of the day, this was not my PNL. At the end of the day, this was PNL was half of this because I tried for Meta, I tried for Amazon. Amazon, I turned the green, uh, I turned green to red. Uh, it's not in this video, unfortunately. Uh, would be nice if I could get all, all but this is a long video already. So uh, Amazon tried to do the same thing, turned red, uh, was turned a decent red to a decent green, small green. But Meta, unfortunately, um, it was all over place. Broke my rules on scalping. Broke my rules on sizing. Uh, so moving forward. After 9 a.m., I will not trade because once I'm done with my profit, well, taking my profit in the, during the morning, I can run and take that profit. Been it, it's better that way for me. Uh, so yeah, so this is uh, Nvidia uh, trade.